it's, it hasn't been normal weather wise. It keeps going from cool to today very hot and now we're expecting rain later this week, Craig. Yeah, rain later this week, but the warm temperatures are going to stick around as well. You can kind of see the moisture in the atmosphere. Check out our sunset this evening over the mainland as the sun dipped below that line of clouds right there and still a few showers out there. In fact, here's our keys camera right now. The sun has just dropped below the horizon. Uh, winds are light, but we've seen some fog around. We'll likely see some fog again tonight. 79 in Miami, 79 Fort Lauderdale, Hollywood, 78 in Key West. Six on the stickiness scale. Usually this time of year, you know, it's two, three comfortable level of humidity is on the stickiness scale, but it's pretty high right now. Southeast wind at nine miles an hour. Had some rain across parts of Broward today. Not so much in Miami-Dade. High temperatures today in the low to mid 80s. 87, the warm spot coming in from West Kendall. Normal high is 78. Current temperatures in the upper 70s across South Florida. Repeat, repeat, repeat through the whole week. Our rain chances do go up by the end of the week just a bit. In terms of the winds are out of the south, anywhere from about 6 to 13 miles an hour. And that south wind, as well as the moisture that's already present, is going to promote the development of fog again tonight because... South wind is just kind of helping to reinforce the humidity. It's also tending to blow the fog on inland, so I don't think we'll have too many problems except mainly over uh, the Alligator Alley as well as Tame Amy Trail. Through the day today, the fog burned off, and we saw a mix of sun and clouds and some clouds popping up this afternoon, some cumulonimbus clouds uh, in the form of heavy showers. They're almost like a summer type of rainy season pattern. It's just so moist out there right now that it's kind of promoting a little bit of rainy season ish to the atmosphere. That'll work. Here's the moisture that's draped across the state right now, and you can see it right there. Moisture for a few showers that retreats to the north. Tomorrow we're looking pretty good. Lower rain chances, the same story for Wednesday. Thursday, a little more moisture comes back in. Friday, the moisture sticks around for showers, but then the weekend comes and deeper moisture moves in for a better chance for showers and storms Saturday and even on Sunday. And then there's our next chance for a cold front. Not certain this is going to come through. We'll keep our eyes on it. That would be the Monday time frame. But behind the cold front right now, it is cold in the upper Midwest, one below in Minneapolis. Our forecast for tonight, stray showers still possible. Other than that, if a fog develops later on, a low temperature in the low 70s, very mild for this time of year. Tomorrow, lots of sun, warm and humid. High temperature in the mid 80s, maybe a stray shower. On the wider wind southeast, 10 to 15. Seas running 2 to 3 feet. Rest of the week, no changes. Mid 80s for highs. The weekend looks like a better chance for showers. Hot for Valentine's Day. And presidents say there could be a cold front. Back to you.